Hey guys, welcome to my university. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the different types of scholarships that are available for MS aspirants. For those of you who are not aware, a scholarship typically covers your entire tuition fees and also provides a monthly stipend so that you can take care of your living expenses. Now, when you apply to a university, your application is considered for a scholarship if you apply before the deadline. Okay. Now, just because your application gets considered for scholarship doesn't mean that you're actually going to get a scholarship. Okay. In order for you to get a scholarship, you need to have very good academic credentials, a very good SOP and a good resume. Now, getting this scholarship might not be possible for everyone because it is so competitive. On the other hand, if you have some cool project experience, cool internships, publications in respectable journals, open source contributions, then you might be able to do something else. You should get in touch with professors from the universities that you're interested in applying to. Okay, make sure that you select professors that will find your profile interesting and might have some kind of a job opportunity for you. Okay, now once you identify these professors, send them an email expressing your interest to work under them. Now there is no guarantee that they are going to reply to you but you need to keep trying this okay and make sure that you do not spam everyone because if you're spamming you're just wasting your time and you're also wasting the professor's time if you need templates for the email and the resume that you can send to a professor then like and share this video and then we will email those templates to you if you get a reply then what's going to happen is the professor might conduct an interview now in this interview, they're going to gauge your experience to see if you would be a good fit in their department or in their lab or not. If you do a great job in the interview, then the chances of getting an admit and also funding is very high. But again, there's no guarantee. You might just get an admit. And then once you get into that university, you need to prove your worth by working under that professor for one or two semester, convince them that you are a good research assistant. And then that is when the funding is going to kick in again. It might not happen, but there's a good chance that it will. The other way to get funding is once you get admitted to a university and once you are here in the US. Now, if you are in this boat, the first thing that you need to do is make a list of professors under whom you want to work and then set up appointments with them. Go and talk to them face to face and explain to them why you're interested. If there is an interview process and if you do very well, then again, the same thing applies. You can get a research assistantship with possible funding. Now, let us say that you are unable to find these type of research assistantships. The other thing that you need to pay attention is teaching assistantship. In a lot of universities, departments like the chemistry department, physics department and the math department hire a lot of international students as teaching assistants. You need to apply for these positions whenever you see them because it's very, very competitive. The other type of position that you need to consider applying for is a project assistantship. It might not be called project assistantship in all the universities. It is basically a position that is offered by a department and it does not have to be an engineering department. It could be something like the food, health and sciences department and they might need someone to develop a website for a particular purpose. In that case, they would hire a project assistant and the only requirement is that they need to have good web development skills. What they also do is for this particular position, they will provide a tuition fee waiver and also a monthly stipend. Web development is not the only position that gets opened under a project assistantship. Project assistantships sometimes might also have non-technical work, but then it still provides full tuition fee waiver. For example, there have been positions where the job description is just to be an office assistant and students have got funding for that. You have to be extremely lucky to get such a position, but it is possible. All right, with that, I would like to conclude this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, please comment below if you have any questions and do subscribe to our channel. See you.